Ah. Hey guys, what's going on? Ty from The Affiliate Solution. It's a good day here at Anfit because they've just built a brand new pro shop. It's lovely, I wanna show it to you guys, but I also wanna tell you guys my top three considerations for when you build your pro shop. Let's check it out. looks good. So let's say you want to build or rebuild your own pro shop. What are the three considerations? Number one, location. Make sure it's somewhere where your members can see it, can feel it, can touch it. They have to go past it every single day. Here at Antfit, they walk through the door, they have to put their gear over here, they go to the toilets over there. There's no real way that a member can come in without being exposed to the pro shop. If all you've got is shit on shelves behind your desk, then all you've got is shit on shelves behind your desk. That's not a pro shop. People need to be able to touch it to see it. You need to guarantee their interaction with it every single day. Location matters. Consideration number two, attract attention. You need your members to be drawn into that space. So as you can see behind me, they've used LED strip lights, which are incredibly cheap, incredibly easy. You can install them yourself. I think these ones cost about $40 and it gives it that nice glow. There's no way you're missing it. You can also see the small TV playing CrossFit related videos. That's gonna draw more eyes in. And lastly, stock good looking, well packaged products that themselves are gonna attract attention. Consideration number three, manage your stock. Once you've built a sexy pro shop, it's your responsibility to keep it sexy. Regularly restock your products before they sell out, especially with your supplements. When people want supplements, they want them now. They don't wanna wait till next week when the next shipment comes in. So make sure everything is always in stock. Also rotate your stock regularly. One of my favorite things about this design, the pegboard design, is that all of those shelves and pegs can be moved around. So every month, you should be completely redesigning your pro shop. Even if you've got exactly the same products month after month, moving everything around is gonna keep your members engaged, interested, and they'll think that you have new stock. Screw it, you know what? Sneaky tip number four, actually sell your products. Don't just put them on the shelf and then hope that they magically fly off sell them, give out samples of any products that you've got like protein or drinks or Kill Cliff or Fit Aid or anything like that. Wear your t-shirts, tell your coaches to wear the t-shirts. Actually actively sell what's in your shop. So there you go guys, there's my top three plus one considerations for building a beautiful pro shop. Have a good location, attract attention, manage your stock and actually sell that stock. As always, if you've got any questions about pro shop or anything else, drop a comment down below. And if you've got a beautiful pro shop, I wanna see it, drop a photo down below as well. Have an amazing, amazing week and I'll see you guys next time.